okay. Um, accommodating SA again. Um, Tongo Chulet, South African. Um, yeah, South African. Um, this is not limited to South Africa or America. Right, because because some of the companies or a lot of the companies are actually listed in various exchanges. So if you're in say Zimbabwe for instance and Tonga Chulet is listed in Zimbabwe that you know that's it kind of works out. It's just the difference would be the pricing and the fact that it's probably going to be listing it based on the Zimbabwean operation. So you know you, you might want to do that analysis. Again, that's why you go back and you're like on Patreon, yo, check this out, I want this. And you'd go like the exact key and then we'd be like, okay, let's check that out, right? Based on your particular geographic. Hey, look at that English. Um, so, Tonga Chulet, which is basically a company that makes sugar. For those who are not in the SA or, or in Southern Africa, it's it's one of the bigger sugar um, companies. Yeah. Um, they, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> it did not go well. <laughs> For for Tonga Hewlett, um, they were they went from being one of those companies that, yeah, <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> I could like I can I can just imagine like someone someone thinking what the hell? Yeah, they they went from uh, hundred and <coughs> seventy bucks a share to four bucks a share. And you're probably thinking, what the hell happened? And there's, there's, there's actually two things I can say. One, there was a uh, scandal, fraud um, of sorts that, that, that occurred. Um, so that's, that's the one thing that happened. Um, the other, the other is, so this was in 2020. One, right. I'm just going to highlight something just stupid easy, right? Just stupid easy. Okay. Mm, I'm not seventy. Twenty twenty one, right? It fell um and broke previous and all that stuff to all the way down to. 85 bucks a share, right? Now, naturally, you go well, you know, bang it at 50% discount, and, da, 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 and the list goes on. But again, you need to understand what's going on and do all the fundamental research. Um, and then do some digging, and you realize, what the hell? It's sick. What happened was sick. And then it bounced up to about 131 bucks, 30, 137 or so a share um, in April. <coughs> in April. <laughs> Before, of course, um, dropping down to four. Again, um, yeah, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to find myself trying to do technical analysis on this, because then I'll end up spending a lot of time doing the technical analysis and not fundamentals. So all I'm gonna say is, um, yeah, <laughs> there were, there were, there was a safer way of getting out. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. There was a, there was a safe way of getting out um, of of this of this, but I'm not saying those that didn't be foolish. I'm simply saying those who are technical traders could have gotten out, and those who were fundamental traders had they dug enough could have gotten out. Um, yeah, when I came in, I think I came in when it was about five, ten bucks a share. So yeah, I've I've lost quite a bit. <clears throat> but I've been averaging down, so my losses have, have kind of slowly dissipated. But they're still there, right? But they've dissipated enormously. Um, and 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 I've got I've got a play behind us, a very nice long term play behind us. It's purely based on fear. <laughs> um, but it's not my lo It's nowhere near my largest position. Um, so yeah, so. Anyway, let's let's get to it. Cause it's been like five minutes. They they've done a revenue of fifteen billion. They still have a negative EPS. Um, forget dividends. Like it, just forget the idea of dividends. This is a sell. Again, this is based on something. I apologize for the noise in the background. We cannot control the the traffic. I'm near a main road. I cannot control the 
the poor victimized uh, ideology and mental uh, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't control the stupidity of someone or the inability to function in society in a productive way so they end up resorting to let's call it aping around um anyway so 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 um yeah who's doing what this weekend yeah um it's basically so bad <laughs> they've got no news coming out <laughs> so i'm not even gonna get into it all we're going to hold on to is they have a market cap of of, of under a billion now which is sad they don't have an p ratio because they have a negative eps which is sad however i will say that um, if we just go down to five years i will say that potentially it is a great opportunity um the volatility is a bit crazy the volume is a bit crazy it is a risk play like this is going to be a long-term play one of those pizza deal type situations where you do again a very deep down analysis and you're just like this this is what i'm looking towards the other thing is you know, at three bucks a share, you know, let's just assume the average buying price is five bucks. You know, if it goes to 50 bucks, um, not even the original 170 was at, let's just go, goes back to 50 bucks. It's a 10 bag, as Peter, not Peter, Peter Lynch would say. So, for the first, for the six month ending on the 30th of September 2021, I don't know, it's not December, um, the revenues increased five percent. To 8.5 billion that's nice the net the net loss before extraordinary items total to um, 234 million rands versus the income of 118 ah revenues reflect property segment increase 57 percent oh yeah they for property segments 83 million zimbabwe segments 21 percent to 3.63 billion whoa um which is a bit weird, right? Because that's that's the one country that I didn't expect much from. Um, looking at the economic situation, Mozambique segment increased nine percent to one point three billion, and then um, South African segments um, increased three uh, percent to three point two eight billion. Again, still less than them. Um, I wonder if, yeah, it's weird. Because <coughs> basically it means if Zim had like a better economy and a better exchange rate, these numbers would be completely different. <laughs> That's the weird thing. Net loss reflects sugar so operations um, decreased 25% to 1.42 billion. Um, before I go down, I need to go downstairs and have some family time. Um, so, Right, so March 2020, um, barely profitable. They made 438 million. Yay! Even though the revenue was, oh, and then the revenue um, went up to 8 billion. And then, of course, their uh, net income was, uh, was 239 billion. And then, of course, the total revenue for March was over 6.5 billion. And then they made two billion in net income, which is lovely, absolutely lovely, right? Yeah. So up to September. What's up with my mouse? So they made eight billion in revenue, eight and a half billion their revenue increased across profit increased, which is good. Their net operating income also increased, but their net income they still made a loss of 234 million i'm not sure why and again a fundamental analysis you go back and you look into the income statement as to why they lost 234 million there's an explanation um balance sheet same situation um they went from 18 18 13 16 they sold off some assets that's just like an easy way of looking at it um from around here then they bought yeah. Um, then of course we go back abilities 20 21 14 17 they had to sell oh this might be when they were selling off their um 
when they wanted to sell some of their properties for cash. Might be. Again, you'd have to dig into this. If people are interested, we can. You just need to go to Patreon and say, yo, Tonga Chulit, do a deep down analysis. I want it. Like an hour plus long deep down analysis. Anyway, um then the total equity. See, this is kind of where my play is. This is kind of where my play is going. <laughs> You'd have to understand the history and the problem, right? which I haven't explained for the purpose of shortening the video. But again, this is also quarter and quarter. They've got total equity was negative two um, billion, which is harsh. They went up to negative three billion in the next quarter, which is harsh. They went down to negative one billion, which is like, yeah. Then went below a billion. And it was like, yay! Here's one more thing, right? They could, I suppose they could they could sell off the assets, but again, they've got more liabilities than assets. Not necessarily something, they've had more liabilities than assets more than anything. I think part of what they've been doing is trying to pay off their liabilities, right? That's something that's like a strategy that they're also working on trying to pay off their liabilities. So they get to a point where they are net positive. In other words, they have um, more assets and liabilities. I would I would like to believe by the end of next year, they will be in that situation. Based on this, I would like to believe that by the end of next year, um, they should have, they should be, um, they should have a positive, positive equity. They should have a positive equity. And I would like <laughs> to see um, a profit. Then I think at that point the the, the four rand a share thing will start to move off and will start to move closer towards your your six sevens um, and so on. Um, yeah, cash flow, right? Because that's the next important part is cash flow. You really really want cash flow. Um, so let's take a look at the situation. I'm not going to look at the graph, we're going to go straight down here for the purposes of saving time. So, from core operating activities, basically from the business specifically. In 2020, 179 September, again these numbers, the cool thing is as this whole pandemic situation starts to drill, the numbers are going to change and yeah, that's secret for Patreon. Ah, what am I doing? Um, what am I doing? So 179, um, 593, which is ridiculous, right? Because it just shows that, that the, 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 the business boomed. Um, but I'm missing something. 733, 890. I thought they made a loss from, from I thought they made a loss somewhere based on the income they made. It's probably based on income, not cooperating. Okay, so real quick, real quick for anyone who's like, what the hell are you on about? The income statement doesn't necessarily show you the money that's coming in because there's two types of accounting. Um, yeah, there's two types of accounting. Um, there's like, let me just dumb it really down to like weird super level down. There's for small business where that's like the, the school um, financial statements, income and, and expenses, etc. Right? That's like for small businesses that's what we learn in school. Then when you get to big businesses, you've got income statements, you've got and the cash flow statements. And in some instances, the cash flow statement reflects what the income statement actually shows, and the income statement reflects something else. I know that's confusing. Um, Patreon. That's all I'm gonna say. Patreon. And and ask Patreon and ask ask and you will receive. So yeah, it's oh yay. Um, sorry about that. Then from Investing activities again, um, they sold off 69 million, then they sold off 20 million, they sold off 4 billion. Hmm. Okay, wow, yeah, that's probably your prior, your properties, etc. Yeah, uh, again, that, that would require a deep dive. Then they've bought, they've that's good news. They're buying into investment because that was of September though. Um, again, don't get excited guys because I would have expected that. Where's the earnings? That would have been in the overview, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll check the overview. Did they say April? 
April is when they're going to release the results, maybe. So let's wait for April. Um, if it's April, let's check if it is April. We'll check if it's April. Let's just go to the overview, overview now. What it looks and check if it's April. Um, let's move on. <coughs> and then, yeah. And then for financing. Oh, for financing, they've yes, there it is. For financing, they've been they've been trying to. They haven't been trying to raise cash in so much. They've been trying to um, pay off. So I believe that this is like you're paying off your debts and etc. Right, paying off debts. Um, I don't think they've been buying back shares. I think they've been trying to pay off liabilities and all that stuff. They've really been working hard on that from what I've heard. But I haven't been following it as much. So they paid off 138 million and then a billion and 6 billion and 872 million. And so again, they first uh, positive cash 274, up to 414, um, negative 613, but they paid off a load load in terms of liabilities there. Then negative 30, which is like their lost negative. Again, it leads me to the idea that they're paying off um, their liabilities. Again, you'd have to know what happened <laughs> to have that, that to have such a messed up situation um, happen. Um, yeah. So let's move back. Closing to our overview, which refuses to load. It's a slow African internet. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 let's see, oh, June, June, dang, right, so, again, fundamental analysis, something else that you'd want to do, you want to actually go in and <coughs> look for December's results, I'm sure it can be done somewhere, um, but I, we're not going to do that now, but it can be done, looking for, for, because in June, you'd really be expecting like June or March's results. So I doubt that they're only going to release results in June for for the f for the final quarter of the previous year. That's taking a bit too long. That's something else that got them in trouble though, is they kept delaying results and all that stuff. But again, all of that goes under the whole fundamental analysis we looked into. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for tuning in this long. Thank you for giving me your attention. And don't forget, I do have a Patreon link. Um, and if you want to contact me, we can do it there, um, we can chat there, um, you can do video calls, uh, you can request whatever it is that you want, um, an analysis on a company, my view on a particular company, regardless of where the company is from, right? Um, an analysis on the company, again, we don't care if the company is from the Philippines, from the Philippines, right? Um, we do a deep down analysis on them. Um, I'm not going to charge you for it. That's stupid. Right? You're on Patreon. Um, it's part of the value. So, yeah, deep down analysis and all that <coughs> from the technical, the fundamentals, and so on. Now, if you're interested in Forex, also go on to Patreon and just be like, can you search on Forex? Or you can even do it on YouTube and be like, hey, can you search on Forex? And if people are really interested in Forex, then um, we can kind of approach into that too. But I think. Um, we're okay where we're at. If you really want to do it, Patreon would be the place to do it. If you want us to look into ETFs, um, deep down on that, Patreon, because that is enormous. And again, the list goes on. The list is endless. ETFs, um, retirement annuities, all of that stuff. You can look into it. We can check it out uh, on, the page, on, on, on the Patreon. Anyway, once again, thanks for giving me your attention. Enjoy your day. Happy profiting.